Hi, my name is Timo Ilka. I'm from Germany and this is my first semester here in school at the Nice Strasberg Institute. I love it. And I have two questions for Mr. Strasberg. So I wrote them down. So my first question is about the sense memory. Yeah. How deep are you supposed to dig in a certain memory? And what's the best way to control that digging uh, so you won't get overwhelmed by those feelings like like sad emotions, you know, tragic tragedies? Yeah, yeah. Um, you ever play sports? Yeah. What, what sport do you play? I play football, German football, German football, and soccer and boxing. Boxing. Oh, boxing's a good one, okay. right? How hard should you hit a guy? As hard as you can. <laughs> right? Except that a jab doesn't hit nearly as hard as a cross. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so yeah, you hit as hard as you can, but not really, because if you want to hit as hard as possible with with a jab, it would take too long, right? So some moments are a quick bang, mm -hmm. and some mm -hmm. moments you're really putting your body and twisting into it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hook back. Yeah, yeah. Sensory is the same way, meaning there's no one answer. This is how deep to go, okay. right? You've got to find, you've got to find your space, right? Now, I'm gonna. I'm going to actually pull it back to this, like a later part of the question, which is, you said, how do you control the digging? Yeah. Right? So, um, the great thing about doing this work is it puts you in control. Okay. Right? One of, the, one of the reasons a lot of folks get scared, or they say, like, the method doesn't work, or like, well, I tried that, and I just was all like, uh, you know, and Heath Ledger, and they, they, they start bringing stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> People get scared because when you don't have any technique, mm -hmm. you're just digging. You're just like, what do I feel? What do I feel? What do I feel? Oh my God! And then stuff comes up for you, and you have no way to start nor stop. Okay. Because you didn't know how you started to begin with, right? You were just kind of uh, willing something to happen, mm -hmm. and then it happens, and it's like, oh holy crap! What just happened, right? Yeah. The whole point of the searching, all you searching instead of digging, is when you create. Don't worry about how deep. You just create, right? Create like the sensory memory. The same sensations we use to create like a piece of fabric or a wind or the temperature is the same thing you use to create these big emotional moments. It's the same technique. It's what do I touch? What do I taste? What do I smell? What do I hear? What do I see? Right, I always miss the one. Right? Uh, when you do that, this is how you control how much to dig because the intensity of the touch starts to determine the intensity of the sensation. Mm -hmm. When it gets a little too intense, you ease off, right? But if you, you see, if you're just thinking about it, there's no easing off. There's just, it's on or it's off. Yeah. But when you're thinking of like sensation on the skin is like, how hard is that sensation? How loud is the sound? How close are you to it? How strong is the smell? Mm -hmm. The smell could be really strong, but if you want to ease it off, if you're just a little too much, you ease it off, right? And this is where it's really important to know technique is what puts you in control without being controlling. Mm -hmm. We want actors who are spontaneous and who are impulsive. And yet when you say cut, then go, okay, now you know, they can stop. Mm -hmm. But it's a, a little like throwing a rock into a, a, a lake, right? It's going to have ripples. But you throw a rock into a lake, it doesn't, it's not a tsunami. <laughs> you know, it doesn't ripple for weeks. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it does ripple. One of the things that you can start to use to judge, you know, I, I was saying this to a class uh, on Monday, a couple days ago. Uh, if there's one thing, the first thing I want you to learn when you're training here is I want you to learn the difference between truth and faking. What's the, like, and one of the ways you can know is are there any ripples? When you're done, are there any ripples? The bigger the rock you throw, the bigger the ripples. Mm -hmm. But you throw a little rock, little sensation in, there'll be little ripples. Right? So you want to start to tell the difference. What does the ripple even feel like? Because a lot of folks can't even tell the difference. Mm -hmm. So they have no idea when they're being truthful or when they're being, you know, fake. Yeah. When they're just pretending and indicating. That's one of the first steps you have to take. Is can I sense the difference? So there, don't worry so much about the digging, which is digging implies this emotional result that's going to spring up, this ghost that's going to come up out of the ground. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. Worry about the feel of the dirt, right? The thing that you're exploring to get there. Yeah. All right? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time I've ever gotten applause in this thing. Right. And now we're shooting 4K, so I got 4K applause. That's awesome. <laughs>
Thank you. I, I told you.